Hey folks, so today we're going to be seeing what sort of results we can expect with a modest overclock of the MSI Inspire 3X OC GPU. So this is the 5080 GPU that I was fortunate enough to snag in the five minutes it was available on launch day on Amazon. And I know a lot of you want to see some of these results, so I do want to get into it. I'm just going to be using the NVIDIA app for a conservative and 100% safe, at least according to NVIDIA, overclock of this card. So just as a couple of points of clarity to help interpret whatever results we get, my 58 here is in a mini ITX build with an Intel Ultra 7 265K CPU, okay? And because of the smaller form factor of the build, that may give us increased temperatures. I am gonna be putting the side panel back on as well, just to make sure that, you know, everything's as accurate as it can be. And even though this is the build that we are testing, in the video, you may be seeing this other build quite a bit. This is my streaming PC, and it's where my capture hardware is installed, so it's going to be capturing the footage directly from this build here. So here I have the capture utility, okay? This is capturing the 5080 build right here. And what I'm gonna do is, in the NVIDIA app, pop over to the System tab. You can see under my rig, the build that I'm using, we have that Intel Core Ultra 7 265K processor. 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, which are, you know, in the XMP profile. And we also have the NVIDIA RTX 5080. Obviously the monitor is coming through as the name of my capture card. So everything's running great. What I'm gonna do is head over to the performance tab here and NVIDIA have finally made overclocking your GPUs super easy. I've never seen overclocking as easy as it is right now. A conservative overclock, but still an overclock and one I think a lot of people are going to be engaging with. All we need to do, this one button here, automatic tuning, just select that. Now, when you select agree and continue, then it is just gonna take a few minutes. It's gonna to have to scan your PC because obviously overclocking is going to be giving unique results depending on your hardware spec. So the app is going to scan everything. It will take a bit of time and it will give you what it thinks is going to be the best results that you are going to get with this software. And the other thing as well is it's best not to use your computer while this scan is in operation. If you start using the GPU or putting it under any load, then that is going to affect the results. You perhaps won't get the best overclock in that situation. So just be patient for these few minutes. So I've gone ahead and fired up Cyberpunk. I am not using any overclocking settings yet for the GPU. This is stock settings. As you can see, I'm getting about 70 frames per second in the game at the moment. And this is at full 4K resolution. Obviously, you know, we've got some AI at play here. So let me just show you some of the settings that I'm using. If I head over to video, you can see 4K resolution there. Head over to graphics. I am using uh, NVIDIA D uh, DLAA, which does actually use quite a bit of GPU resources. So we'll have a look at that in a moment, but I am also using frame generation at 4X. If I was to drop the frame generation, then the FPS would drop to much lower levels. So we'll keep that enabled. It is one of the main features that is advertised with the 50 series of GPUs. So you definitely wanna be using that. Uh, but if we go up and swap the DLAA here over to say balanced, for example, yeah, we've got a nice, FPS boost there, so we're getting about 130 uh, to 150 depending on what's on screen at the time, but obviously a very, very playable FPS for full 4K resolution here. So I've just fired up Diablo 4 next, which remarkably I find this quite surprising. It always seems to be quite a GPU intensive game. So I'm getting about 63 FPS. Uh, I know our GPU, the 5080, is capable of much more than that. If I head over to the options here, we are currently running at 4K resolution as with Cyberpunk. And if I just scroll down, I can see that I have DLAA enabled along with frame generation. Now frame generation, I believe, is only supported up to 2X at the moment in Diablo 4. So you won't get the same benefits as you would at 4X in a game such as Cyberpunk. Uh, but at least we can use the feature here. So if we just pop out, we'll see what happens to our FPS as we actually engage some monsters or a couple of lag spikes, but that's more to do with the fact that this game is running online over the servers, I think, rather than actual PC hardware. And yeah, we're getting about 75 FPS at these settings without any overclocking. And this is with, again, DLAA enabled, which is, as I mentioned, fairly GPU intensive. So back in settings, I'm going to select balance, which is the setting we had in Cyberpunk as well. 
and we'll see what that does for our frame rate. Yep, surprise, surprise, or not as the case may be, it has given us a nice boost. Some of these technologies that Nvidia have developed, these AI techs, I know that some people don't like them and they say it produces artifacting, but I just don't really see that. Unless I'm gonna be sitting like an inch away from the screen or something uh, to notice those things. But you do get a sizable FPS boost when you enable them. And so with frame generation, again, 2X in this game, and with DLSS set to balance mode, uh, we've just gained, what, 60 FPS increase, so not too bad at all, but again, without any overclocking on the GPU. So that was the stock settings. Now, back in the NVIDIA app, I have just enabled the automatic tuning that I showed you earlier. I said it takes about 10 minutes to scan the system. It actually took closer to an hour, so just bear that in mind, but it is a one-time process, as long as you keep this feature enabled. So we've got a GPU clock increase of 170 megahertz here, and the RAM of the GPU, or the VRAM, of a 200 megahertz increase in speed. So again, yes, if you are doing this manually, for example, in MSI Afterburner, you're gonna be able to push to much stronger extremes than this, but this is a very safe overclock and should hopefully still give us some increases in FPS. So let's go ahead now and actually get Cyberpunk loaded and we'll see what a difference this has made. Okay, so I'm back in game here. This has actually surprised me. So resolution, still 4K. I've kept the settings as they were before. We go into the graphic settings. I've got DLAA enabled. So you remember we're getting about 65 FPS with these exact settings with the stock uh, GPU clock speed. Okay, so without any overclocking, we're getting about 65 FPS in game. So let's go ahead now and see what the NVIDIA apps overclock has done for us. And as we wait for this to settle, it does settle. Look at this, over 100 frames per second. I was not expecting that from the limited clock speed gain that we've given it. So yeah, this is with the same settings. It'll probably drop to yeah, just under 100 as we move around here and have more happening on screen. But I am nicely surprised, is probably the best way of putting this, by the FPS boost that this has given us. Uh, yeah, still get run over even with a higher FPS. But yeah, I am shocked. So we've gone from about 60 to 70 FPS so averaging now around 100 FPS. So what's that, about a 30% increase just by clicking that single button in the NVIDIA app. Anyway, let's go ahead now and change the DLSS setting back to balanced from uh, DLAA. So with the no overclock test, we were getting about 140 FPS. And yeah, definitely an increase here as well. Uh, pushing over 190 FPS, maybe yeah, even closer to 200. So again, I want to say that's about a 30% increase over what we were getting with this feature disabled in the NVIDIA app. And remember, this is a 100% safe overclock. Hey, let's check out Diablo. So yeah, here I am back in Diablo 4, and we're currently getting about 44 FPS. So a little bit of a, a reduction there. I'm not actually totally sure what that's about. Um, I'll have a look at that in a moment once I can get to safety here. Previously in Diablo 4, we were getting about 75 FPS. So I'm not sure why I've taken an FPS drop. I haven't changed any settings here. Okay, so graphics, we are yet but 4K resolution as I was before. We've got DLAA enabled. Oh, that's why. For some reason, frame generation's been deselected. Let's enable that. I was confused by that. I was thinking, why have I taken a 20 FPS hit? So that's enabled, and what do you know, our FPS is up to over 90. <laughs> okay, so it is an increase than before the overclock where it was about 70 to 75. Well, at least a 20, 25% increase there. I was concerned then. I don't know how frame generation was disabled. It does make a difference, doesn't it? One thing I haven't mentioned, but if you've been keeping an eye on the temperatures as well through these tests, you'll notice they haven't really changed from before the overclock to after. Because this is a safe overclock, NVIDIA are trying to squeeze using their algorithms everything out of the GPU without having to fanny about increasing the voltages and stuff. So you'll see, yeah, that the temperature is pretty much, you know, the same after the overclock as it was before. That's why I haven't been harping on about it. Let's go ahead and get that changed over to balanced DLSS and save those changes. And before we were getting about 120 FPS with these exact settings with this build, but without the overclocking. And uh, now we are pushing around 140 plus. So definitely not as huge as improvements as we saw in Cyberpunk. Although I say that, I mean, the FPS is 
spiking quite high here. Okay, I saw 170 there for a moment. It definitely wasn't going anywhere near that before the overclock. And it looks like it is kind of stabilizing over the 150 mark. I am really surprised that the increase in clock speeds that Nvidia have given us with the single button press have actually boosted things this amount. I wasn't expecting that. What do you guys think? Well, there you have it then, folks. That is not the result I was expecting. Up to a 30% boost in FPS in Cyberpunk and not far off that also in Diablo 4. I thought maybe, you know, we'd get a 5% increase in FPS if we were fortunate. Certainly going to be keeping that overclock on this GPU since it does make quite a substantial difference. I think definitely more so with the 50 series than with the 40 series. What do you guys think that is? I mean, I could be cynical here. Is it just Nvidia? you know, somehow gimping the 40 series with that setting on purpose to try and get people to upgrade? Or is there actually some improvement with the hardware here that is making it more receptive? Let me know your opinions. But there we have it then, folks. What do you think of these overclocking results? Thank you so much for stopping by, checking out this little experiment, and I'll catch you next time.